All right, hello everyone and welcome to the final regular season match for the post-university esports Valorant team taking on Sacramento State University here in the ECAC week eight matchup two of the top dogs in the ECAC open division right now Sacramento State and Post University both sitting at six and one on the season Post University looking to grab the W here and finish off what would be what already is the best season in Post University Valorant history um, it's going to be Johnny Fuego Chris Rammers Cornflakes Frosty and the fearless captain Meech for the Eagles. Meanwhile, for Sacramento State University, starting on attack here on Ascent, it's going to be Beans, Sammy, I for Gore, Jason Knife, and Kamugi. Kamugi, the best player here in the lobby. Mortal 3, nearly radiant here. Um, best player in the lobby, definitely the best player for Sac State. And uh, Johnny Fuego, best player coming out here for the Eagles. Recently just hit Immortal. So big grats to Mr. Fuego over there. But um, Sac State definitely has the advantage on paper here in terms of average skill ranks across the players. So if the Eagles are able to uh, use their agent's utility appropriately and uh, pick the right fights and play together as a team, they could pull off an upset here. But it's going to be a tough one for sure. Choose your Sac agent. State has a very... Very good esports program. Um, also, another thing to consider here: uh, remember, Sacramento State is all the way out in California, whereas most of the Eagles are playing from the East Coast. So uh, we're actually using the Texas server right now. It seems to be the most balanced in terms of ping. Uh, I think most players are sitting right around 50, so should be pretty even here. Um, team comps coming out now. It's going to be Johnny Fuego on Brimstone, Chris Rammers on Sova, Cornflakes on Reyna, Frosty on Killjoy, and Meech on Jet. Meanwhile, for Sac State, it's going to be Beans on Killjoy, Sammy on Sova, I for Gore on Jet, Jason Ive on Omen, and Kamugi on KO. So a little bit of uh, different team comps coming out here. Um, both teams with the Killjoy, both teams with the um, Sova, but uh, and both teams with the Jet. But it's going to be an Omen and a KO for Sac State. And uh, Reyna and a Brimstone for the Eagles. So... Very interesting in terms of team compositions. Uh, Brim, as uh, most of you probably know, Brim and Omen were both recently buffed while Astra was nerfed. So it has really shaken up the Valorant meta here, and we're seeing a lot more Omen and Brimstone play and a lot less Astra play to compensate for her reduced level of power here. Um, pistol round coming out. It's going to be a 4-1 split here for Sac State on offense. As Meech catches a glimpse of a couple members and is going to hightail it out of there. Smoke's coming down here. As well as the recon bolts. And Eagle's backing off here, giving sight over to Sac State wisely as they pushed in very aggressively. Beans going to pick off Chris Nermis for the first kill. Nice kill by uh, Cornflakes, though, on Beans. And it's a one for one right now, 4v4. Meech finds another on Jason Ive. Comes the blind coming out for Cornflakes. Grabs the blind onto the jet sitting in hell there. Well, they knew that was a fake. Diffuse another trade. There's another two Frosty with two more kills. It's a 1v2 right now. Frosty blocking here. 10 health left for Frosty. This is very close. All he knows. All he has to do. Yep, all he has to do is watch. And wait. Wait, what? Oh. Well, that's uh, that's not good. <laughs> Come. Into the unknown. Well, that's odd. Hopefully, uh, we can fix that. Apparently, Sac State was able to hear uh, Strongest Dog. Sit 
Nice kill by Johnny. Can't get out of there, though, and it's a one for one. Eagles on a save round here. Full Spectres coming out for Sac State. So any kills the Eagles are able to get here is going to be important. And very valuable. Kamugi finds the kill on Frosty. Nice kill by Cornflakes. And another by Meech. The round is actually kind of winnable here for the Eagles, even though they're at a big gun disadvantage. Ooh, Jason Ive gets two more, and the gun advantage is too much there for the Eagles to handle. But they do take down three. Very important for the uh, round economy here, heading into round three. But Sac State up 2-0. Sammy having a great game, 4-0 so far on the Sova. No ultimates available quite yet, but Kamugi is one point away from the KO ult. The Eagles with... Uh, with full bias here, Chris Rammer's going to go with the Odin. Oh, nope. Yes, Odin. <laughs> uh, so a bit of an advantage here for the Eagles now. Let's see if they can turn this around get their first round of the map, put themselves on the board. Sac State's playing a little split up here. He's looking to find some information. Recon Bolt does catch the uh, location of Cornflakes there. And here comes the Owl Drone. Oh, it can't, gets canceled. Oh, and Cornflakes peeks out and sees three. Gets suppressed and taken down. Beans finds another. Nice kill by Frosty through the smoke, though. But still going to be an uphill climb for the Eagles here. As Meech gets blinded, throwing smokes down for himself to cover. Doesn't know where Jason Ive is. Finally gets a beat on him. But now it's a 2v1, and Jason Ive just has to pop back out. Johnny Fuego, the last player alive in a 2v1 here. This is going to be difficult for Johnny. Let's see if he can pull off the clutch. He's going to have a decent idea of where they are. Molly. Oh, missed the Molly. That's <laughs> sad. <laughs> Drop smokes down Smoke from down. the omen smoke. He's got a decent amount of time. Let's see what he decides to do with this. Ah, he just tried to bum rush in. Didn't work out though. And Sac State, three rounds in a row now, despite being at a gun disadvantage here. Uh, bad omen here for the Eagles if this continues. We'll see if they can turn things around. It's going to be another save now for posts. Three sheriffs coming out. Frenzy. Need to try to find a kill quick. Pick up someone's gun. Try to turn it around, but Sac State's probably not going to let that happen as they're grouping up all around B site here. Playing it a little bit slow. Launching smoke. Oh, Chris is blinded and can't see anyone. He goes down immediately. Meech picked up the trade kill, though. Oh, and there's another one. Spike down, mid. Meech popping off with the sheriff right now. And here come the knives. Let's see if Meech can pick off any more. Oh, and Cornflex is caught with the utility out. Unfortunate. Wow, Frosty in a gun duel, but Beans has the superior firepower there. And is going to find the kill. Each can't find a kill with the knives. And Sammy finishes off Johnny Fuego as well. His third kill of the round. Sammy popping off right now. 8-0 on the Sova. Make it. Eagles have yet to kill this man. Sova diff? 4-0 <laughs> now for Sac State. But that round was expected. Eagles now have a much better shot to win this round with full buys. However, really got to win this one. So they lose this round, they're looking at another save, and then looking at a 6-0 deficit. So this round, incredibly important here. Momentum, so important here for Valorant. Momentum and economy. Eagles really need to get this round. Cornflakes pops Empress. You should run. Maybe a little preemptively. 
Ooh, and there's a Killjoy ultimate coming down on B site, but they're nowhere near it. This is a bait. Eagle's gonna try to run over here. You get a pick. Cornflakes does a nice job turning around and get trading one kill for himself. Chris finally puts himself on the board, grabs a kill on Beans. And uh, Sac State heading in onto A site now. Spike planted. Johnny doesn't really know where they are. He's going to drop smokes for his teammates. Chris Rammer's coming around. Tree here. Looking for someone. There's the KO ult. Orger finds a kill onto Johnny. It's a 3v3 now. Very close round. Orger finds another one. Chris Rammer's finds one, but now it's only Frosty alive, and Jason Ive takes him down. And 5-0 now for Sac State, and things looking pretty grim for the Eagles so far here on Ascent on map one. Again, this is the best of three here. So the winner of map one puts themselves in a really good spot to win the series. But Valorant is a game that's very much about uh, momentum here and just keeping a good mentality. Sramers does a good job getting out of that bad situation in the 1v3. Firing blindly through the smoke, he almost gets a couple hits. Don't think he actually tagged anyone. Ooh, Meech finds a nice kill with the Marshal, though, to start things off for the Eagles. And it's a 5v4 now. Pushing right up with multiple players. Oh, Chris can't look away from the blind. He's firing blindly into the team and can't find any kills. Nice blind there coming out from Sac State. 4v4 now. And Saxe going to take control of this B site now. Bean's going to get the plant down. Spike planted. Cornflakes about to find another member with Johnny. Johnny gets taken down, but he's traded. It's Cornflakes with another. He's going to pick up the. No, he puts it back down. <laughs> 3v2 now. Very winnable here for the Eagles. There's the blind coming out from Corn. Oh, Beans was ready for it, though. And gets another, and now it's just Meech in a 2v1, and Beans gets a third. And Pose just can't get away, can't find a way around Beans. Great job on the Killjoy. And it's 6 nothing Sac State right now, coming out really strong on Ascent. Eagles need to make something happen soon. They do have full buys. But uh, Sac State is just rolling in dough right now. They get anything they want. And they'll have enough buys probably until halftime, honestly, at this rate. Post really needs to start getting some rounds. Nice entry kill by Johnny to start things off on this round, though. And uh, things looking good for the Eagles here already in a 5v4. As the smoke comes down mid... Johnny finds another, his second of the round, and it's a 5v3 now as Korn finds one. one and a second. Korn with perfect crosshair placement here. Kamugi, the last player left alive here, sends out the blind. Flawless. And just, wow, just like that, the Eagles with a flawless round. That, that's what you call a momentum swing right there. You get 6 0'd and then just come out with a smooth flawless. Put yourselves on the board. And that's exactly what Post needs here. We can keep up this momentum. Johnny's still with the uh, with the Brim ultimate. So important on defensive rounds. Let's see if the Eagles make good use of it here. If Sac State pushes up strong onto one site, I think they should probably just give him the site, wait for the uh, wait for the plant, and then pop that ultimate. Smoke's down. Johnny looking to pop the ult right now. Yep, here it comes. Let's see if we can find anyone. Can't quite find anyone, but oh, he misses the molly again. Sad. <laughs> Johnny finds the uh, 
Oh, but he gets suppressed. Oh, and Beans is going to find him. Meech gets one, but now it's 3v2. Frosty and Cornflakes, last players left alive here for the Eagles. Kamuki going to get the plant down. Oh, and Forger was standing. looking exactly where he needed to look. Watching that door as Frosty's coming out. And now he's, uh, the sentry can't see anything. Nice usage of the smokes by Sac State here to disable that turret from Killjoy. And uh, it's really just a matter of time here. There comes the flash. Can't look away in time. And Kamugi going to find the last kill for Sac State. 7-1 to one now. The lads from Cali. Sammy has slowed down, though. 8-0 uh, and to start the game, and now 8-4. and Kamugi top in the leaderboards now. 8-5-8. Eight, eight. That's a very high assist count for Kamugi. Um, doing a good job getting damage down onto the Eagles. Letting his teammates finish them, finish them off. But Meech, he's got the op in his hands now. Let's see if he can make something out of it. Don't know if Sac State's going to be expecting this. They do smoke him off, though. That's a really smart smoke. Ooh, he doesn't know they're walking right at him. Oh, <laughs> he couldn't quite find the shot. That's so nerve-wracking. When you know you're revealed, you know somebody's probably looking at you. Through the smoke. Warflake's about to find a lot of members here. Oh, he gets two. They line up beautifully for him. And it's a 3v3 now. Johnny's suppressed. He's ready to go, though. Ooh. Sammy gets the kill on Meech with the ultimate there. Enters Fury. Johnny with only 25 health remaining as well. This is going to be very difficult for the Eagles. Frosty puts the sentry down, but it gets instantly destroyed. Ooh, nice shock dart. Sammy doing a great job with the Sova utility here in this round. And Sac State quickly running away with this one. We've seen the Eagles come back from deficits like this before, but this one just might be too much. Everyone on Sac State contributing six kills, the lowest number, and still up to positive KDA. Eagles got a lot of work to do here. They really need this economy reset from, uh, from halftime as well. Uh... Things looking very grim. It's going to be a couple frenzies, a ghost, and a marshal for Cornflakes post. Ooh, the uh, the counter Odins. They don't find anyone. I respect the effort, though. A lot of times teams will do that on defense. Eagles, I think having a real issue uh, dealing with KO here, honestly. I mean, we haven't really gone up against too many KOs this season, so it could be a case of... Uh, both just not really knowing how to deal with the agent. Johnny trying to take this close fight with the Frenzy. He just got the knives out. He's ready to go. Killed by Cornflakes, but Jason and I have trades him back. Ooh, Beach almost finds one with the knives. Gonna close the door now and go on to A site. But Forgor still lurking here behind A site. He's gonna find a kill on Meech. Standing ahead. Spike planted. Flank him? Oh, he didn't wait for his teammate. Johnny does finally take him down. Chris came out a little bit early there. But Eagles against uh, working against the clock now in a 2v3. They keep finding kills in these rounds, but they just don't find the actual round victories here. And this is going to be almost impossible now. Frosty in a 1v3, and uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Sac State so good here on these post-plant situations. Eagles have... Barely even had any time to go up and uh, try to retake the site. 
Sac State, Sac State just is doing such a great job at uh, once they get the plant down, once they occupy that site, just making it so incredibly hard for Post to push up and retake. I think this is going to end up being one of those maps where you just kind of try to put it in the back of your head. Johnny pushing out aggressively here. Oh, he can't dash away! Our foreguard gets caught in the wall. They know where he is, though. Kamugi going to take him down. It's a good try, though. Nice shot by Meech. Onto Beans, a 3v3 now, but Kamugi going to take him down. Nice job by Korn, looking away from the blind, but they don't push up. Last player Ooh, Jason, I have great job lurking mid, and now they're going to flank on Frosty, and he doesn't know which way to look. And again, Sac State doing a good Last job with the teamwork, the coming out and checking, uh, coming out and flanking, I should say, the Eagles player uh, at the same time from different angles, making it impossible for them to get a... Uh, to pull off something crazy. And yeah, unless the Eagles pull off something miraculous here, this is looking like it's gonna be a uh, game one win for Sac State. It's Frosty setting up his uh, utility here on A site. It's gonna be another 4 1 push here for Sac State as uh, Sammy, the lone player on B site. Looking in it with his Al drone. Trying to get, he's just getting a lot of utility baited out from the Eagles here as they're being pretty quiet over by A. And there's the Killjoy onto A site. That's going to force Cornflakes and Frosty away. Cornflakes actually uh, staying in it. He's going to get detained. But they have no idea where he is. As the plant goes down, it's still 5v5. But, like I was just saying, Sac State is so good in these post plants. And the Eagle's going to have a real tough time pushing into this. But there's Korn. He's got Empress rolling. He finds one. Can't find a second, though. He knew where Sammy was. Good job turning around. Johnny cannot trade him back, either. And it's a 4v3 in favor of Sac State. Forger just occupying that high ground on the, on the site. And it's going to be 11-1 uh, to 1 now. Unless Frosty can pull off something miraculous. He does find a kill on Beans. Pops the ultimate. But there's the knives. Oh, he's got to reload. He can't take out the pistol in time. Good presence of mind to actually know to take out your pistol in that situation. Because there's no way you're getting the reload off. But it was too little too late. And he was looking like it might be a... Uh, very quick... Game one here for Sac State. The Eagles have anything to say about it? Um, yeah, I was thinking this. Uh, this must be their ma their main team with a couple immortal players. Um, I was about to say like, dang, if this is their if this is their B team, like we in trouble. <laughs> like that's that's a pretty impressive B team right there. Like, hey, yeah, I'm a I'm a mortal three right now. But, uh, yeah, I got uh, relegated to our B teams. Like, dang. <laughs> Sac State pushed up mid here. I think this is actually the first time, or maybe only second time, they pushed up mid. Um, so I just have swapped, though. Back on pistol round. Economy is reset. Sac State off to a great start here. Last player standing. And just like that, Kamugi. Gets another one, and that's just a flawless pistol round, and pretty much going to be impossible for the Eagles to come back match from this point. one now as a match point with it's probably going to be full. No, no, they're actually not. They're just going to go full Spectres and rush it. Well, the Eagles have to just buy what they can here. Normally this would be a save round, but they have to spend all their money and try to win this round since it is ma uh, match point after all. Oh my god, they're going full judges. Oh, this is going to be so tilting. <laughs> full judges coming out here for Sac State. Neil's playing this one a little bit slow. Ooh, 
Judge finds one, but Beans trades him back. The only player not using a Judge <laughs> for Sac State. Jason I finds another. <laughs> Give him a second. Gotta stop taking these close fights. They don't know that everyone has judges though, so. <laughs> coming back. I shouldn't be too critical. Last wow, spin. Beats gets a kill despite being blinded. And there it is, the third kill of the round. They didn't need the judges after all. <laughs> Beans takes care of most of the Eagles by himself. And it's a 13-1 route by Sac State on map one. Sac State looking like the favorites to win the whole thing here. Remember, both teams are 6-1, but that was a stomp. Kamugi, the MVP there, 13-6-13 for Sac State. Cornflakes MVP for the Eagles at 10, 13, and 1. Post going to try to turn things around on map 2. All right, don't go anywhere, anyone. We'll be back with map 2 in a few minutes. All right, we're back with map two. That was fast. It's going to be Breeze. And uh, Post looking to uh, forget what happened in map one. <laughs> it's a brand new game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Just got to try to wipe that from your memory and go in fresh here. Cypher already locked in for Chris Rammers. But uh, Sacramento State, whew. That was... Uh, that was something else right there. Um, I think this first pistol round is going to be really important. Uh, just for the mentality of post, honestly. Uh, like, Sac State is fine. Like, they're, you know, their mental is fine right now. They're, they're vibing. Like, they already know they won 13-1. Like, we just got to take care of business type of vibe here. But post, they got to turn things around. Select your agent. This first round going to be so important to uh, establishing that initial momentum. First round usually leads into the second round. And team comps have been locked in. It's going to be Meech on KO, Frosty on Viper, Johnny Fuego on Reyna, Chris Rammers on Cypher, and Cornflakes on Sky. Meanwhile, for... Sac State, it's going to be Forgor on Jet again, Kamugi on Viper this time, Beans on Chamber, Oni on Sky, and Sammy on Sova. Oh, I believe we had a, we have a substitution as well. 
I don't think Oni was playing on map one. Uh, apologize, I don't know who he subbed in for off the top of my head. By the way, thanks for watching, everyone. It has been quite a while since I've had our Valorant team on stream, and I do apologize for that. Um, it was a series of scheduling conflicts combined with uh, forfeits from the other team. So, a very unfortunate series of events resulted in the Valorant team not being on stream for three consecutive weeks. But I'm here today. We are showing the match on stream once and for all here. Um, I just hope there's no, that there's no scheduling conflicts for playoffs because that would be an unforgivable sin if I had to miss a playoff match for whatever reason. But... Here we go. 0-0, zero, zero, brand new map. This is where the Eagles need to make a statement. And it looks like Sac State really loves their 4-1 split with the 4 rushing site and the 1 lurker. Chris Rammers with the shorty, trying to hold this, sh this short angle. Oh, he couldn't quite find the kill. Bean's going at it, and Bean's gonna find the uh, find the kill. And there's another one for Sammy. Frosty, the last player left, and Sammy takes him down. Two kills for Sammy on the Sova to start things off here for Sac State, and they're picking up right where they left off. be a marshal for Sammy, three specters, and a sheriff. Meanwhile, the Eagles staying with full classics here. So, uh, Sac State's round to lose right now. As the blind comes out from Cornflakes but doesn't find anyone. Forgor finds the first kill on Frosty. Kamugi grabs two more as he fades through Last the smoke. And just like that, Chris Rammers in a 5v1. Finds the kill on Forger. No flawless for you this time, Sac State. Finds the Spectre as well. Only has 56 health. One single point of health left and Oni going to finish him off. Looks like we're going to have a pause coming out here. Uh, Meech did disconnect during that round. I don't think it actually affected the round itself. Meech has, uh, does have a problem with his internet occasionally where he will uh, disconnect from a match for right about five seconds and immediately come back. Really frustrating. But I don't think that is the reason for the pause. Um... But in any case, Eagles with full buys here. Frosty going to be rocking the judge. Interested to see how that works out for him. Uh, and it's going to be a bonus round here for Sac State as everyone holds on to their guns. And uh, I guess we'll be right back when the pause ends.
All right, we are back from the Sac State timeout. Should be starting in just a moment here. 2-0 Sac State. But the Eagles with a gun advantage here. See if they can make something happen. Blinded. Hopefully he's just catch someone with the blind. Sac State still hanging around this B site trying to push in. Just playing this really slow. Meech is rotating over on the KO. I don't want to face check <laughs> Frosty's judge here. <laughs> They're rotating across mid now. Johnny about to find a few members. And uh, Kamugi a little bit uh, sloppy with that rotation. He's trying to back, Cornflakes tries number. Cornflakes adds two for himself, and Meech finds another, and now suddenly it's a 4v1. I forgot the last player left for Sac State. He does have the spike, though. Ten seconds left. Boys and orb emitting. Spike planted. Let's get the spike down. But here comes Frosty. <laughs> He's found him. That's uh, too easy. You're not look You're not even looking at the guy sneaking up behind you with the judge. And the Eagles with the going to put themselves on the board uh, much faster here than they did on Ascent. This could be exactly what the Eagles need to turn things around here. Maybe that pause ended up being good for the Eagles as kind of a mental reset here in the middle of the match. But we'll see if it continues. This round going to be a lot more even. Uh, Chris Rammers actually doesn't have a buy for himself. That's really interesting. I feel like he should have had a buy for himself. I don't know why that's not the case. Okay, there we go. He does have a buy for himself. Sac State doing their... The patented 4-1 again. Looking at a site. Nice shot by Johnny. Gonna start things off for posts. Sac State just trying to get information right now. They want to know how many people are on site now. Johnny throwing out those blinds. Beans finds the kill on Cornflakes. Woogie gets another. And the Eagles kind of have to give up a lot of sight here. Spike planted. Each watching for this roam. He knows Beans is coming around behind. Yep, there he is. You find him through the bridge. Ooh, but Kamugi, nice job. Taking down two, his third of the round, and now Frosty in a 1v3. Going to be very difficult. Sammy does take him down. And Sac State up 3-1 now. Uh, economy not looking too bad, though, for either side. Sac State definitely doing very okay. Uh, but Eagle still with full buys across the board. Frosty going to stick with the judge. Actually, I'm not sure if Johnny... Yeah, Johnny and Chris actually don't have full buys, so Eagles might look to save here. It looks like that's exactly what they're doing. Selling some guns play, last minute. It's going to be a couple uh, specters, a Can sheriff, and a judge here. Um, meanwhile, Beans is probably going to pop that ultimate here. So... Deploying drone. Oh, nice job with the KO. Just taking out that drone. Oh, and Korn gets caught reloading, and Sammy takes him down. But Chris about to face check Forgor here. <sighs> eh, very questionable cross crosshair placement there. <laughs> You're going to be looking at their pants. <laughs> but here's Johnny lurking around. 
Oh, I think he caught a glimpse. Yeah, he did. He caught a glimpse of Forgor there. He knows he's there. He's just got a classic, though, and Forgor's going to win that every time. And uh, Sac State take care of business on that round. Definitely uh, would have been difficult for them to lose that one. Um, Eagle should be in a much better spot in this round. Meech is going to have an op for himself. Full buys across the board. Oh, no, he. I lied. He's, he's not getting the op. He's going back for the Vandal. And full armor. I think he would have had to get light armor if he was using the op. So, going, opting for the full armor Vandal setup here. Um, interesting that Beans is holding on to a Spectre. Um, not really sure why. He's got 5,500 gold in the pocket. He each gets tagged, though. As Chris Ramos gets caught out. They know exactly where he is. To my world. Oh, nice job by Meech going around the opposite way of the flash. But he's still only able to find one. And it's a 4v3 in favor of Sac State right now. Corn finds one, but Beans Last trades him standing. back. Beans gets another, his third of the round. He's very low on health, though. But now Frosty in a 1v3. If he can take out Beans quickly, this could be winnable. Oh, he caught a glimpse of Beans' gun there. He knows where he is. At least he has a good idea. Oh. And uh, Forgor rotating around. Oh, Frosty does find the kill on Beans. But Forgor and uh, Kamugi rotate around, and that's just too easy. All five ultimates available here for Pose. Looking for... Uh, it is, yeah, I don't know if they're even going to bother using it here because this is another save round for the Eagles. So they may opt to wait till next round to actually use all this utility. Although sometimes you can steal a round. Smart usage of your ultimates combined with picking up your opponent's weapons after you get some cheeky kills. You know, it's possible. Stranger things have happened, but... I think most likely we're going to see them play it safe here and just save everything for the next round when they'll actually have some firepower. Spike planted. Spike goes down immediately. Chris Rammers gets tagged. Got him. Doggy does find someone. Pull cat. Nice blind from uh, Corn, but only takes him down. Forgo with another one, and it's just obliteration here for Saxty. And that's pretty much exactly what you expect uh, on the uh, normal round versus save. And here we go. Now is when I'm expecting the Eagles to actually bust something out here. Meech has got the op for himself. They got five ultimates ready to go. This is where the Eagles need to start turning things around, or it's going to be a very quick 2-0. For Sac State here. Like, this is honestly probably a must win at this point. Just purely for the uh for your for the mental state right now. Cause if you think about it, you've you're now if you count I've a cent, it's trail. nineteen to two as far as rounds. Ooh, Johnny with a nice entry kill onto beans. Forgor trades one back onto Meech, though, and that's the op dead. Forgor gets another one. Spike plant Plant goes down. It's a 4v3. Frosty finds one, though. It's a 3v3 now. Pretty winnable for the Eagles. Found one. Ooh, Johnny can't find the kill and can move you fast enough. Eagles working against the clock here. Frosty needs to push through this smoke. It's going to be very difficult. One Does find three. one. Corns gets another. Oh, we can't find him. It's a 1v1. Corn has the op, though. I don't think he has enough time. Kamugi playing this very well. Clutch. Yeah, he yeah. can't. Good job picking up the uh, assault rifle there in the close range fight. Woogie cannot escape the bomb, and that was probably the closest round that we've seen yet. Um, Eels with a valiant attempt there, but Sac State still manages to close out the round in the end. 
and seven to one now. Eagles scraping the bottom of the barrel in terms of their cash. A couple players not with full buys here. Sac State still rolling in the dough yet again. Eagles can actually get up and uh, get some kills here. Cornflakes with a good start. Gets a second. Nice blind by Johnny. He's going to pick one up as well. And it's a 4v2. Suddenly a very winnable round here for the Eagles. One enemy There's remaining. another one for Cornflakes. His third of the round. Kamugi finds Frosty, though. He's going to try to find him with the dog. He does catch a glimpse, but Johnny going to take him down before the dog can even get there. And the Eagles, twice as many rounds as they won on Ascent. <laughs> Improvement. <laughs> Make no mistake, though, Sac State still fully in the driver's seat here. But the Eagles with possibly a little bit more momentum. Frosty and Chris Ramers both with judges here for this round. See if they can get some cheeky kills. I got yous, okay? A lot of smoke's coming out mid. And uh, Sac State just rushing right on through. Oh, Johnny finds one, but they both peek him at the same time. Oh, and Cornflakes didn't check the angle. Only going to get the plant down. Chris Hermes, here's someone right below him. Spike planted. Waiting for them to come up the rope. Toxins going up. Rossi doing the same. Looking for these close range encounters. Oh, and meet with another disconnect, but he's already dead, so no worries. Ooh, Chris finds one. And now the ultimate's coming down. And he's got uh, an assault rifle for himself. Ooh, Frosty finds one. He could look to just stick this diffuse here if they're fast. One enemy remaining. Oh, yep. He can't even get it half. Yeah, nice job using the Hunter's Fury. Is it going to be enough? Frosty finds one. I don't think it's having enough time. Oh, he can't find it. And the bomb explodes, and Sac State wins the round. Excellent job there by Sammy. Using the Hunter's Fury to stall for time. It's exactly what you want. If you're the silver player in these post-plant situations. And Sammy played it to perfection there, not allowing the Eagles to get that defuse off. Full buys aside from Chris Rammers. He's only going to have a ghost for himself. Johnny finds one, though. Frosty with another great start for the Eagles here. Oh, that was so unfortunate from Cornflakes. He sent the, the flash out a little bit too far. Again, questionable crosshair placement from Chris, and Forgor takes him down. 3v3 now. As Frosty gets tagged and taken down. Spike planted. Each popping all the utility coming in on the site. Meech and Johnny trying to retake here. Flashbang. Oh, nice job by Meech. Thinks he knows where uh, Sammy is. Finds another one. And Johnny going to be able to get the fuse. And the Eagles showing some life here. Finding their third kill. Or, excuse me, third round win of the map here on Breeze. Again, Saxe has already won a map. So, the Eagles with their backs against the wall here. 
Really need to pull out some more rounds, try to even this up. Give themselves a good shot to win this one and bring it to a deciding map three, but it's going to be a steep uphill climb for them. There's a very low margin for error. Not really sure if Post has been playing better or if Saxe is just playing a little sloppy here, you but play, let's play. the Eagles have won two of the last three rounds. Ultimate coming down immediately from Frosty. Ooh, and a nice job by Sammy. Getting Frosty through his ultimate after he was revealed. Beans finds another, and make it a second. Beans with the ultimate for Chamber, it's just doing work. Chris Ramos does find Sammy reloading or something though, or maybe he has had his uh, utility out. <laughs> Can we just <laughs> sick of your crap, Chris? We're just gonna get you right through the boxes. Can we get the plant down? Meech in a one v four right now. Gonna be nearly impossible for him to retake this, but uh, it is the last round of the half, so you might as well go for it. There's one. Oh, and beans. Knocks him down, his third of the round with the chamber ult. Switching sides. And we're switching sides here. Ooh, 9 3 curse, though. 9 3 curse? Anyone? 9 3 curse in the chat? 9 3, 9 3. Let's see if it's real this time. Eagles on attack now. Maybe red side. Three ghosts coming out. Imagine the 9-3 curse is real and then we somehow win map 3, that would be crazy. There's Corn pushing up. Wow, that dog just could not make it through that <laughs> smoke and Eagles just backing off now. Nice job uh, getting two kills for the Eagles immediately. Grouping up together. Staying together on this pistol round. Definitely the play. We'll be backing off here as he sees many, uh, most of the Eagles team pushing up onto A site. And the Eagles just, just bum rushing this right now. Frost's gonna get the plant down. Hornflex finds another. Borgar trades one back though. And there's Meech and Chris finishing him off though. And the Eagles just, they just laid it all out right there. He's rushed onto site with Everyone just swinging at the same time. And it's 9-4. to four. Eagle's going to be able to pick up some weapons themselves. Full Spectre gang. Sac State sticking with five classics. So it's the Eagle's round to lose here. They can look to come back now. It's very doable. Oh, Moogie finds the kill. Johnny trades him back, though. Heal up, squad. Chris finds one with the ghost. It's a 3v3 now, though. Sammy does get taken down. Johnny finds another. One enemy remaining. Ooh, one left. Four are going to take it. It's a 2v1 now. And Chris Rammer's going to swing him and take him down. Frosty going to get the plant money as well? Yes, he is. And the Eagle's looking very good here. On attack. See if they can pull this one around. What a comeback this would be. Down, I think it was, let me count. Down That's seven to there. one. It's now nine to five. Oh, this is a nice spot. And he was looking at B site now. Warflex trying to find someone with the dog. Oh, Meech with a nice entry kill. Forgo trades him back though. Four v four now. That's my 
Forgo with another one. Yeah, Eagle's got to go back and get the spike now. Ooh, counter blind. Maybe he blinded himself. Couldn't really see. Ooh. And Forgor and Beans pick up two more. And Sammy finishes them off. <laughs> and it's 10 5 now. Uh, let's see if the Eagles have buys. They do not. Or do they? Not not buys for the whole team, but uh looks like Johnny's gotta buy, Chris has gotta buy. Corn Frosty and Meech though. I like what the Eagles are doing here. They're not saving. They realize that every round is important. They need to start this comeback right now. Right here. Nice job by Chris. Gonna find one. Oh, he didn't know Beans was there though. And it's a one for one trade. Beans oh Beans Saints out. Take out a second. Only with two more, though. Good job from him. But the Eagles with uh, control of the site. Corner's trying to revive, but it's not going to happen. Oni with three kills on the round. And Sac State looking to run away with this. One win away from match point. Eagles putting up a much more uh, much more valiant effort here on Breeze than they did on Ascent. Only winning one round, but uh, Sac State still looking extremely strong here. Let's see if Johnny can find anything with the Marshal. About to face check Forgore here. Tagged him. Quite find the kill though. So the wall goes up. Meech is all alone here. Getting surrounded a little bit, but I don't think they know where he is. Beans and Johnny trade kills. Oh, that's a great shock dart. And uh, yeah, Meech is nowhere to go. Ooh, only gonna take down Cornflakes. And uh Frosty and Johnny, the only players left alive for the Eagles. This is looking like it's going to be an easy Sac State win. And then Post is going to have a full buy, though, heading into match point. Johnny trying to find a cheeky kill here. Maybe uh, somebody exiting site. Oh, wall's going to go up again. Frosty about to find someone. Oh, we looked away. Thirty seconds left. You hate to see it. Yeah, he didn't check back. <laughs> and there it is. Sammy and Beans find the last two kills, and Sac State now on match point. You guys need to win seven rounds in a row to get us to overtime. I, I generally have a lot of faith, but I don't know about this one. <laughs> this is going to be very difficult. Sac State's been playing extremely well this game. Yeah. Even though the Eagles have been playing better on Breeze than they did on Ascent, it's still not nearly enough. Gore with the uh, op, and Bean's going to start things off with a kill on Cornflakes. That's pretty big for Sac State. Oh, nice job by Johnny coming through the smoke right as he thought that he was going to send his, uh, his blind out. And he catches him with the utility out as he puts his blind on the other side of the wall. Johnny is going to find Beans here. Oh, but Beans gets the better of him. And it's a 4v2. This could be it here for the Eagles. Chris Rammer's going to hightail it out of there. Looks like they're trying to slowly rotate over to A. Chris with a nice kill, though. Can he find another? He's going to push up through this uh, cage. And he knows where Sammy is. He saw his gun. 
finds another one. And now it's a 2v2. Frosty finds another as well. And they know where uh, where Kamugi is. 30 seconds left. Frosty gonna get this plant down. Oh, Chris is caught with the utility out. It's gonna be a 1v1 now. But Frosty putting down the ultimate. Viper v Viper. In the ultimate. Let's see if Kamugi can clutch it out. Frosty's looking right at him. Uh oh. Whoa, they don't know where he is. <laughs> He's look, not looking at him. Oh, and he comes in. He wins the coin flip. He comes in the right way. And that's going to do it. Sac State take the second map 13 to 5. Congratulations to them. They're going to improve to 7 and 1 on the season. Post is going to fall to 6 and 2. Still going to be a decent seed heading into playoffs. If we run into Sac State again, uh, it likely won't be until probably round three or four at least. I foregore the MVP this time for Sac State. 269 combat score. Just beating Beans by a single point. 17, 13, and 2. And Johnny Fuego, the MVP for the Eagles, 13, 15, and 4. Well played to both teams. Uh, but that's going to do it for our Valorant stream tonight. We've got an Overwatch match starting at right about 9.30 or so. Uh, so make sure you tune in to that. Uh, it's going to be Overwatch versus Providence College. Overwatch looking to qualify for the playoffs at 3-4 and four on the season. One more win. We'll sneak them in there and prolong the season. So they're looking to do that. Would appreciate you guys coming out to support the team. Uh, 9.30, that's again, that's Overwatch versus Providence College. Uh, thanks for watching our Valorant match, everyone. I'll see you in a bit.